Good morning, Eisenhower Eagles. Today is Friday, Friday, and it is September 8th. It's cycle day one. No, that means you have music today. Sing your hearts out, boys and girls. Let's go ahead and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, boys and girls, you may be seated. All right, for lunch today, corn dog is your A option. Chicken and gravy sub roll is your B option. <clears throat> and sun butter and jelly is your C option. Mashed potatoes with milk are your sides. Tomorrow for lunch, whatever you have that's not at school, because it's Saturday, no school. The next day, whatever you have that's not at school, because you won't be at school. And then the next day, Monday the 11th, no school, so no lunch either here. But you can eat, just not here. So... Please find something somewhere else to eat. You need to eat to survive. It'll help you, okay? Tuesday when we come back, the 12th, you'll have hot dog or pulled pork sandwich or Italian sub. All right, those are your three options there. All right. Du -du -du -du. Special announcement. Birthdays. Let's see here. We got today, the 8th. No birthdays. Tomorrow, the ninth. Hmm. Rowan Shield. Rowan, happy birthday on for tomorrow, I should say. On the tenth. Rowan, when you hear this, come on down for your birthday surprise. That's Rowan Shield. Okay, not the other Rowan, Rowan Shield. Happy birthday. And come on down, get your birthday surprise from the office. Boys, girls, when you see Rowan Shield, tell him happy birthday. And I hope everybody has gives him that happy birthday, okay? All right. The next day, Sunday, we do have a birthday. Audrey, Audrey, happy birthday on the 10th. Happy birthday. Boys, girls, when you see Audrey, tell her happy birthday. Audrey, when you hear this, come on down to the office for your birthday surprise. Happy birthday, young lady. The 11th, no birthdays on the 11th. But we might have one the next day. Boom, ba, boom. Okay, there we go. All right, special announcements. No school Monday. Professional development for teachers. Please don't come here because we won't be here. Okay, so remind your parents, we just sent out a text yesterday after school to remind your parents that there will be no school on Monday for professional development. And that's at all schools, all North Platte public schools, no school on Monday, especially Eisenhower. So don't show up and be waiting out front because nobody's going to let you in because nobody will be here to do that. Okay? Sorry, thought I was going to sneeze there. I held it in. Oh, man. Miss Lashapel's allergies are really bugging them, okay? So, boys and girls, that just reminds me. Remember, keep washing your hands throughout the day. I'm seeing a lot of coughing. We're sending a lot of kids home with fevers. Um, and there's some good old sneezes going around, too. So, it could be allergies, but you still want to wash your hands, especially before you go eat. Because if I touch something... And I sneeze in my hand, and then I touch something and I eat it, then I'm eating my sneezes or somebody else. Okay. We also want to make sure we're covering sneezes or coughs. If you're coughing, <coughs> in your arm. Okay. Simple and easy. All right. Keep us all healthy. Okay. All right. I don't want to send those mean letters to your home. Your parents don't like those letters. I don't like sending them. Boys Town Skill. We have our appropriate voice tone. Listen to the level of the voices around you. Change your voice to match. And then watch and listen for visual or verbal cues 
and adjust your voice as needed. Remember, cues are what somebody's trying to tell you. If you see somebody say, mm, that means bring it down, or verbal, quiet please, that's something I'm telling you, okay? I'm telling it verbal, all right? Cues are things to look for, all right? If you're looking for your teacher to tell you to be quiet or to tell your teacher to bring it down, or be, get, get louder, please, a little louder, I didn't hear you, okay? Things like that. Those are good cues to watch for. Okay, if you're given an answer in class, you don't want to whisper to it because then that teacher might not be able to hear it. And if you can't hear this, tell your teacher to turn up the volume. So you want to talk so they can hear you. Now, should we scream out answers? Probably not. But we can talk them out. Okay, all right. Here's goes. That's all I'm going to have for today. It is Friday. You're going to have an amazing day. I'm going to see everybody in the hallways, in the classroom, outside, all over the place. Remember, if you want to be an Eisenhower Eagle, you need to work hard, you need to be kind, then we can soar like eagles. We'll see everybody later. Goodbye.